Okay, okay, all right, all right. If you know me at all, you'll know how much I absolutely adore what it is that I'm about to tell you about. If you're an acoustic guitar player in the know, maybe you already know. If you don't know, you're about to know. Ladies and gentlemen, the greatest acoustic guitar-related gadget since the capo, the Tonewood amp. Wow. What is it? Let's get into it. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Please make yourselves at home, maybe click the subscribe button and the like button, it really helps out the old algorithm. Now, uh, many of you may have noticed that over the course of the pandemic, I've had some time to talk more about the gear that I love. Well, the Tonewood amp has been at the absolute top of my list. It's something I've talked about for years now on the Anderton's channel, Justin Sandico's channel, at Summer Nam in Nashville. Endless joy but I've never done a real in-depth dive into it on my own channel. So, if you know, you already know how amazing this thing is. If you don't know about the Time With Amp, stick around, I'm gonna go deep on this one. I met these guys uh, about six years ago now. They came to a show I was doing with Justin Hayward with a prototype of what would eventually become the retail version of the Tonewood Amp. This was back when they were funding their business on Kickstarter, a really, really cool organic grassroots thing, which as someone who plays nerdy instruments made by men in sheds, I'm all for those kind of grassroots companies, you know? I was absolutely blown away by this product. They brought a guitar with a Tonewood Amp prototype loaded onto it. I absolutely fell in love with it. It was love at first note. <laughs> So what is the Tonewood Amp? The Tonewood Amp is essentially an effects processor for the acoustic guitar. It has things like reverbs, delay, chorus, even overdrive. Metal. So what makes this special? Although it can operate by taking the guitar's sound from its pickup into the unit and out into a PA system or amplifier, the thing that makes it really magical is that this is not designed to be a guitar pedal. This is designed to stick magnetically through witchcraft and wizardry, well magnets, science isn't it, to the back surface of your acoustic guitar, okay? Now when it's attached to the back surface of your guitar, this little piece of rubber here vibrates and sends through magic the reverbs, delays, chorus, whatever effect you have, through the guitar's body and out of the sound hole. What I'm essentially saying here is that this thing turns your actual acoustic guitar into the cone of a speaker so that when you play your song, the effect is coming out of the guitar's body and into the room or into the ears of your listeners. But it sounds like it's coming from over there or something. What this enables me to do as a user is sit in the driest, most boring sounding room possible. Say, my studio, it's a pretty dead room, right? I can play and sound like I'm in Wembley Stadium without plugging into any external speakers, amplifier, PA, or anything if I want. It is an inspiration box. I can go anywhere in my house, anywhere on tour, and make the guitar sound inspiring. Let's take a deep dive into the features, explain how this thing operates, and why you should 100% pick one up. So first things first, how does this thing get its power? Well, the Tonewood amp is battery powered. This takes three AA batteries, and uh, I actually really recommend you use rechargeable batteries. That way, if this thing's running low, maybe you're on tour and you wanna fall asleep in your hotel room, you can just plug your batteries in to the wall overnight and they'll charge charge pretty quickly. These batteries I've been using uh, by a company called Tenor Volts. Uh, no endorsement, but they work really well. They last a long time with the unit and, uh, and they charge pretty quickly as well. Now, as you can see from the graphic on the unit itself, this thing is absolutely packed with features. And in my experience, actually most users have barely scratched the surface of what this thing can actually do. So let's take a deep dive right now. You might wanna put the kettle on cause uh, yeah, we're gonna get nerdy. Now the user interface or the UI on the Tonewood amp is relatively straightforward to understand. There's a power button, which obviously turns the unit on. And then we have three wheels that control what the unit can do. We have an effects wheel, 
which cycles through the effects. We have a parameters wheel, and then we have an amplitude wheel, which controls things like the gain, the volume, the general output. Now, each one of these wheels can operate with three different variables. You can turn the wheel to cycle through an option. You can click the wheel in, as the wheel also doubles as a button, or you can click and hold, which opens up a separate menu altogether. These functions are clearly labeled on the graphic on the side of the unit, but let's take a look now at what's contained within and what we can do with it. Now the effects wheel contains eight effects. The first one is the hall reverb. This is my personal favorite, plug in and play, it sounds absolutely amazing. A nice warm reverb to fill a room while you practice. <laughs> If we turn the wheel to number two, we get to our room reverb. This is a much shorter reverb, used for a little bit of ambience in what you're playing, but nothing too extravagant. The third effect is a lovely plate reverb. Now this was my personal favorite to play with for a very long time until I started talking with my good friend Andy McKee about the tone wood amp and he really converted me onto the hall reverb actually. If I'm playing in quite a low tuning or playing something quite dark that I don't want to get too muddy, I'll put it on the plate reverb and it'll be a really, really inspiring sound to create to and to perform to as well. If I keep turning the wheel to number four, we get a delay. You can actually blend reverb with this as well, so think of it as a delay and reverb combo, really. The next effect is a tremolo delay. Something a little bit more unusual and not something that I've used a lot, but it's very cool to have it included. Then we have number six, the Leslie speaker effect. I find this works exceptionally well if you feed it signal from a magnetic pickup rather than a piezo. That way it kind of replicates that sort of electric guitar quality and it keeps it really, really clean. Wonderful. The next effect, very cool for any acoustic Hendrix fans, we have auto wah. You can play classic licks and have a wah pedal on your acoustic guitar. Finally, the big daddy sound, we have overdrive, an actual overdrive vibrating through your acoustic guitar. Now, if you want that classic sort of Michael Hedges, Aerial Boundaries, Wyndham Hill chorus sound for your acoustic guitar, you can actually download that as a free update via the link in the description, okay? This will replace effect number eight, the overdrive, with a chorus that you can combine with a reverb. If you were to put that on and play Purple Rain, a unicorn may appear. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a look at the second wheel and see which parameters we can adjust to make it even more awesome. Now if I were to select setting 1 and start tweaking with the parameters wheel, the first thing it would bring up is the decay. Now every single parameter can be set with a value between 1 and 25. So if I set my decay to 25, we get an absolutely insane Sigur Ross-esque Icelandic Nordic Viking Eurovision style reverb. Now once I've set my decay to something more reasonable, if I click in the button, we get to parameter 2, the pre-delay. If I click it in again, we get to the third parameter. In this case, it's a high cut, 
Let's take a look at another effect, the delay, and see what parameters we can adjust with that. Now the first parameter, as you can see here, is a pretty obvious one, the speed, the tempo of the delay. If you click it in, we get to parameter two, which is the feedback, how many repeats of the delay there are. If I were to set that to maximum, we would again go a bit mad. It would probably feed back, and, but that might be what you're going for, right? Finally, the third parameter from the delay effect is the amount of reverb we want to blend with the delay on a scale, as always, 1 to 25. Now, as you cycle through these effects, all sorts of parameters are available, okay? We won't go through every single one in this video, but if you head to tonewithamp.com, you can find really detailed descriptions on everything. It's all very, very easy to figure out. Now, let's take a look at the third wheel, the amplitude. Now, this is like a global settings wheel, really, with things like volume and gain. Now, I want to talk to you about gain specifically. This is really, really important when using the Tone with Amp. If you don't set your gain correctly, the output from your pickup may make the unit clip, right? It's something I've heard people say before, you know. Oh, I tried a tone with amp, but it didn't quite sound right. It sounded like it was distorting. That's because they didn't calibrate their gain correctly. Every pickup on every guitar on the planet is slightly different, right? Different brands, different models. They're naturally gonna output slightly different levels. By simply clicking in the amplitude knob, accesses the gain from one to 25. Play around with your guitar when you're doing this. Maybe play loud, maybe play the loudest you're gonna play and make sure it's not clipping. There's actually a helpful clip display on the unit that will help you with that, okay? Once your gain is set correctly, you can mess with your actual output volume. There's something else that's very, very cool. Within this amplitude knob, if I click and hold it, we access two separate parametric EQs in the form of notch filters. Here I'm able to isolate specific frequencies that are giving me trouble. Perhaps I have a guitar where at 190 hertz there's a big spike in the level and it's just very, very boomy around there. I can actually dial that out of the effects and it calms down the guitar. You can isolate the frequency that you're feeding back out and reduce it. And there's not one parametric EQ, but two. I'm really, really like QVCing it up a bit, aren't I? Because I don't really think feel like you're now I just mentioned I use the notch filters on some of my guitars. That's because we can save and recall presets on the Tonewood app, okay? It has its own internal memory. So I have my gain, my EQ, my favorite effects parameters all saved in separate banks for individual guitars, which is pretty cool because you can just get one unit and then have all these effects on all of your acoustic guitars vibrating through the sound hole as if by unicorny witchcraft. Now, you can also lock the unit to stop you accidentally nudging it. I've never accidentally nudged it in the past. If you feel like you have giant elbows like Falcon, you can press the outside buttons to combo click and lock the unit for a kind of performance mode just for extra safety. So guys, I think I've covered everything about the Tone Winamp. Amp. Once again, these guys are just super sick people. They've made an absolutely amazing award-winning piece of kit. When this came out, it won all the awards in the guitar magazines, the Platinum Award here, the greatest, you know, guitar gadget in the Milky Way, all kinds of things like that. To call it an amp is, is an understatement. I call it a, a wet dream box. No, that's horrible. <laughs> what I meant to say was that it's wet in that it makes your guitar wet. It adds effects to it. And it's a dream box because it's my dream box. It's my wet dream box. So that's about it for today, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the video and found it informative. Please do like, subscribe, and comment below. Maybe let me know if you have a tone with amp and if you've got on with it. Take care and lots of love, especially to my Patreons at the Patreon page. And I'll see you back out there on the road as soon as humanly possible. Lots of love, take care and happy playing. Mm -hmm.